with all the unanswered questions of COVID-19 and the economic slowdown we're having in the market, people are wondering, is this going to affect the housing market? And how is this different from in 2008? Well, stand by. That's what we're going to talk about. Hey, with all the worries about COVID-19 and the economic slowdown we're seeing all across the country, many people are wondering what's happening with the housing market. I mean, if you were in 2008, are we seeing the same thing? Let's take a look at this today. All right, here we go. Many of us experienced financial hardships back with the Great Recession, you know, out of jobs and financial problems with housing and all. But that was started with a mortgage crisis housing. This is a different case. Now we're dealing with kind of an outside source. Today we face a different challenge. It's through a health crisis that's put a pause on the economy, not the housing itself. Let's look today at five things that are different than what went on in 2008, all right? First, when we look at the appreciation that's shown on this visual, there's a big difference between six years prior to the housing crash and the most recent six year period. Leaning into the crash, we had a much higher appreciation in this country than we see today. In fact, the highest level of appreciation most recently is below the lowest level we saw leading up to the crash. Prices have been rising lately, but not to the rate they were climbing back when we had a runaway appreciation. Number two, mortgage credit. Mortgage credit availability index is a monthly measure of, that gauges the level of difficulty to secure a loan. The higher the index, the easier it is to get a loan. The lower the index, the harder it is to get a loan. I mean, today we're nowhere near what we were when the mortgage crisis hit before, when it was just easy to get a loan. And remember the old saying was, if you could fog up a mirror, you could qualify for a loan at that time. After the crash, however, lending standards were tightened and they've remained that way since then. As you can see by the historic data for the mortgage credit availability index on this chart. Three, the number of homes for sale in 2008, we had an oversupply of homes in the market. Today, as shown in this next graph, we see a much different picture. We don't have enough homes on the market for the number of people who want to buy them. And across the country, I have less than six months of inventory an undersupply of homes available for the interested buyers. Number four, the use of home equity. The chart here now shows difference on how people are accessing the equity in their homes today as compared to 2008. 2008, consumers were harvesting equity from their homes, cash out refinances, and using it to finance their lifestyle, buying more stereos, new cars, all kinds of toys and things. Today, Consumers are treating the equity in their house a lot more cautiously. If anything, if anybody's using equity now, they're using it to help put some cash pull out to have ready in case they're short on a job or other needs with this recession that we're getting ready to go into. Five, home equity today is good news. 53.8% of the homes across the country today have 50% or more equity. 2008, people walked away from their homes because they owed more than their homes were worth and could not afford to draw any equity. With the equity homeowners have now, they're much less likely to walk away from their home. You can see here in this chart, 37% of all the homes are owned free and clear, and 26.7% of mortgage homes have at least 50% equity. So we're sitting here pretty good on equity. So what's the bottom line? The COVID-19 crisis is causing a different challenge across the country than we faced in 2008. I mean, back then we had a housing crisis. Today, it's a health crisis. What we know is that the housing is a much stronger position today than it was in 2008. It is no longer the center of the economic slowdown. Rather, it could be just what helps pull us out of the downturn. So Let's not panic. Let's get through this. And as we do, if you need to, if you want to have a check of what your home is doing, what the value is doing in your neighborhood, don't hesitate to give us a call. We can take a look for you, uh, run some numbers, see what's happening, what the adjustments are doing. Remember this time with the health crisis, 
differences now. The banks aren't going to be necessarily coming after someone like they might have before. This time, everybody's affected, and it's a balance there. So they're going to, it's going to be worked out through, and again, there's more equity and stronger positions for the houses now since they haven't been pulled down to where you have things to work with. So stay smiling, stay safe, stay healthy, and check with us next week.